Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the differences between benign versus malignant tumor. So let's start the differences between benign versus malignant tumor. So I will be discussing the differences between them under following 5 criteria or headings. So the rate of growth, the differences between them based on the clinical features, how we can differentiate the benign and malignant tumors, based on their gross and microscopic finding, findings and the most important based on the spread of the tumors, based on the local spread and based on the distant spread that is metastasis. Let's start differentiating benign and malignant tumors. So let's start with the rate of growth. So benign tumors have less mitotic rate and malignant tumors have increased mitotic rate. So what is the doubling time? Doubling time is the time taken by the tumor to double in size. Just suppose the tumor is 1 cm in diameter. So from 1 cm to 2 cm how, man, how much time is required? Is it few days, few months or few years? From 2 cm to 4 cm how much time is required? Few days, few months or few years? So that time is known as doubling time. So basically the time to double is inversely related to the rate of growth. More is the rate of growth, less time is required, tumor will double very fast. Or less is the grow, growth, le, re, less is the rate of the growth, more will be the doubling time. Tumor requires more doubling time. You got my point? So what is the rate of the growth? Uh, the, the benign tumors are slow, they have low mitotic rate. That's why here the doubling time is more. But malignant tumors are very fast in growth, they have very high mitotic rate. That's why here doubling time is less. So based on that, we can make it out whether it is benign tumor or malignant tumor. It's a guess, right? Based on the clinical features, usually, usually benign tumors are slow growing. They remain asymptomatic, but sometimes they may produce serious symptoms like, for example, meningioma is a benign tumor. See the suffix oma. It's a benign tumor of the CNS, but sometimes it can produce seizures or it can produce symptoms. So usually they are asymptomatic, but exceptionally they can produce the symptoms. In a similar way, malignant tumors are fast growing. They may ulcerate on the surface, they may invade into the deeper tissues to so produce many symptoms, right? They may cause metastasis, they may cause systemic features like weight loss, anorexia and anemia also. So symptoms are less in benign tumors or usually they are asymptomatic, but malignant tumors are usually symptomatic. Again, it's a guess. Based on the gross finding, the benign tumors are spherical or oval in shape with well circumscribed and encapsulated. They are freely movable, they are firm uniform and they compress the surrounding tissue. You can see here, can you see? Uh, in this diagram, you can see the breast benign tumor and breast malignant tumor. Both are tumors of breast, but this one is benign, this one is malignant. The benign one, you can see it's well circumscribed. You can see the periphery, it's well circumscribed, it's encapsulated, it's oval, it's round. The malignant one don't have any fixed shape and it's infiltrating. There is no fixed shape, there is no capsule, there is no circumcision. Uh, it is not circumscribed, it is invading into the surrounding tissue. So the benign tumors compress the surrounding tissue and invading tumors, the malignant tumors invade the surrounding tissue. So there is a difference between compression and invasion. So benign tumors are spherical, malignant are irregular. The benign tumors are encapsulated, the malignant tumors are poor, poor uh, circumscribed or non-encapsulated. Benign tumors are movable, they are fixed. The benign tumors are firm, uniform. They have flesh-like consistency and they are also firm. The benign tumors compress but the malignant invade. So you have to learn this word, they compress the surrounding tissue and they invade the surrounding tissue. You can see the diagrams. You can see the diagrams. Th these were the gross findings and here on the microscopy also you can see the benign tumors are well circumscribed. You can see the boundaries. But the malignant one are infiltrating everywhere. They are infiltrating any everywhere. It, there is no fixed boundary. Coming on the microscopic features. Based on the microscopic features, we can make it out whether it is benign or malignant. Right? So in microscopic feature, the malignant tumor, in the malignant tumor, there is lack of differentiation. The lack of differentiation is known as presence of anaplasia. What do you mean by anaplasia? What do you mean by differentiation? In this diagram, you can see these are the cancer cells. Can you see? This portion is the cancer cell and these all are the normal cells. So the extent, the extent of morphological and functional resemblance of the tumor cell with that of native cell. The resemblance of the tumor cell with that of normal cell is known as differentiation. So whether the tumor is well differentiated, moderately differentiated or poorly differentiated, it depends how much the tumor cells, the percentage of how many tumor cells 
uh, is resembling as that of normal tissue that is resemblance and lack of differentiation is known as anaplasia anaplasia is the hallmark of malignant tumors and it's irreversible so there are 10 features of anaplasia right all 10 are visible in this diagram if any tumor showing all these 10 features the tumor is malignant tumor so we will be discussing them one by one the first thing the normal tissue have polarity the polarity is present the basal polarity you can see here this is the basement membrane please appreciate this is the basement membrane see in the cells the nucleus is towards the base the nucleus is towards the base but here the nucleus is present haphazard it's present anywhere it's not towards the base so here loss of basal polarity so basal polarity is present normally but it's lost in malignant tumors right normally there is no pleomorphism that is all the cells are same shape same size all the sh uh, cells are same shape same size but in malignancy some are small some are moderate some are large so pleomorphism is present so in malignancy pleomorphism is present normally nc ratio nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio is low but in malignancy the nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio is increased normally there is no n isocytosis see the nucleus all the nucleus are same shape and size but here the nucleus are large moderate small so there is no fixed shape and size of the nucleus that is known as an isocytosis so an isonucleosis is also a feature of malignancy normally the nuclear chromatin is normal there is no hyperchromatism but in malignancy the color of the nucleus is dark dark blue color because of compactness it's known as hyperchromatism normally nucleoli are normal they are not very prominent but in malignancy you can see the prominent nucleoli can you see the nucleoli inside the tumor cells become very prominent normally mitosis is normal i can't see any mitosis in this figure but in malignancy can you see the spindle formation mitosis are very frequent normally giant cells are not seen but in tumor giant cells formation is very frequent can you see this cell it's a giant cell having multiple nucleus normally cytoplasm is normal but in malignancy see the color of the cytoplasm inside the cell it's having increased mucin normally it's diploid but in malignancy it's aneuploidy so these are the 10 features known as anaplasia which differentiate benign tumors from malignant so learn the 10 features how to differentiate benign tumors from malignant in this diagram also you can see this is spindle formation this is spindle so these all are abnormal mitosis right in this diagram you can see this is mitosis i can see this is a giant cell i can see pleomorphism the variation in shape variation in size i can see anisocytosis right so it is a malignant tumor right so here also we can see the giant cell you can see it's pleomorphism so it's a malignant tumor so you can compare the benign tumor and malignant tumor based on these 10 criteria the loss of basal polarity pleomorphism nc ratio anisonucleosis mitosis giant cell cytoplasm color nucleus color based on which you can define whether it is a benign tumor and malignant and these 10 features are known as anaplasia never forget so based on the last we can differentiate whether it is a benign tumor or malignant based on the spread of growth we have seen the benign tumors are slow growing the malignant tumors are fast growing based on clinical features benign tumors are usually asymptomatic but exceptions are there malignant tumors are symptomatic based on the gross the benign tumors are oval spherical well circumscribed and they compress the surrounding tissue but malignant tumors invade the surrounding tissue and they don't have any boundaries right based on microscopy we have seen the 10 features that is anaplasia which differentiate benign versus malignant lastly based on spread of tumors there are two type of spread the local spread and the distant spread you got my point so here you can see the difference between them this is a tumor when the tumor is invading the surrounding parenchyma can you see this one it is invading the surrounding parenchyma it's known as local local it's the locally it is spreading right and after that it may come in the blood it may come in the blood vessel from the blood it will move to some other site other organ and there it is doing the extravasation and growing at multiple sites of the human body now these are the sites which are away from the primary tumor so this is known as distant spread you got my point so there are two type of spread this is local spread this is distant spread local spread is in that portion only the tumor is expanding but distant spread is discontinuous from the primary now both of these the local and distant they are absent in benign and they are present in malignant right so both of these both of these the invasiveness that is local invasiveness and metastasis means distant distant um, 
uh, metastasis, distant spread. Both these are the most important features which distinguish benign and malignant. Both these are absent in benign. Benign neither show local invasion nor show metastasis and malignant show local invasion as well as metastasis. So, both these findings are absent in benign and they are present in malignant. So, basically out of the 5 features which I told you to distinguish the benign and malignant, the most characteristic finding which distinguish benign from malignant is the metastasis. This is most reliable. First reliable. The second most reliable is the local invasion and after that there is anaplasia, the third reliable. So, if you want to distinguish benign tumors and malignant tumors, the best, the most reliable criteria is the metastasis. The second most is the local invasion. The same thing is written in front of you. Metastasis is the most reliable feature for a malignant tumor uh, to di distinguish it from benign tumor and invasiveness is the second most reliable sign. You got my point. Here also you can see the benign and the malignant tumor. So, benign tumor are not locally invading, not doing the metastasis. Malignant tumors are spreading locally also and they, they travel in the blood also and do the metastasis. So, based on these 5 features, we can differentiate the benign versus malignant. See the difference table is in front of you. The difference table is in front of you. Can you see here, based on clinical features, you can see this is benign, this is malignant. You can see. So, the benign one are encapsulated, the malignant one are poorly circumscribed. The benign one compress the surrounding tissue, the malignant invade the surrounding tissue. Benign are small, the malignant are large. The benign do not have secondary changes, the malignant have secondary changes. Now, loss of basal polarity, pleomorphism, NC ratio, and isonucleosis, hyperchromatism, mitosis, tumor giant cell, chromosomal abnormalities, these are features of anaplasia. So, all the anaplasia is absent in benign and anaplastic features are present in malignant, we have already discussed. The benign tumors are slow growing, the malignant tumors are rapid growing. The benign tumors do not have local invasion, low, do not have metastasis. Local invasion and metastasis both are present in malignant. Rather, metastasis is the most reliable feature to differentiate benign and malignant. Prognosis, they have complication, but here the prognosis is not very good. The local and metastatic complications are there, right? So, that is all about the differences between benign and malignant tumor. You must know the 10 features of the anaplasia. That is all about it. Thank you.